been doing it a very long time, you so. You have to do this for us now. Well, yes. Well, but it, they are live streaming, you know. I know, but it's still, I mean, it's still electronic. Mm -hmm. So now that's a third prize, but you understand the Happy New Year. Okay, okay.
Welcome everybody to Live from Precedence, our uh, concert tonight, streamed out over the interwebs to the entire world, and to our lovely audience here with us today in the Skylight Ballroom, is going to feature Dr. Mary Kleinsorge, a local favorite from Delta, Colorado, but performing for us today in uh, the Precedence upstairs in Montrose, Colorado. So if you wouldn't mind, a big welcome for Dr. Mary. so much. Oh, it's so wonderful to be here in, in, in person doing a concert. And I feel a little bit like a groundhog that's coming out to see if I see my shadow or not. It's been so long since I have uh, done a concert. I think the last one was in uh, Mexico on Valentine's Day 2020, I think was the last concert that Craig and I did. I was thinking about what songs to do for this um, first coming out kind of party. And I, of course, because of the last year, we have a lot of sentimental, thoughtful songs that come to mind, but I think we all need to keep a very positive spirit as we go into the rest of 2021 and decide what the rest of our lives are gonna look like. And this next song, my first song, is a song my mother used to sing to me that was a Burl Ives song called The Donut Song. It's written on the rainbow in letters made of gold. Written on the rainbow, there's a message to behold. My friend, the little sparrow, agrees it must be so. Little angels wrote it so folks on earth would know. When you walk the streets, you'll have no cares if you walk the lines and not the squares. As you go through life, make this your goal. Watch the donut, not the hole. I'm off to Merry England, where bulldogs all wear pants. Off to Pago Pago, where the alligator stands. My friend, the little sparrow, will take me where he flies. Even on the rainbow to read with my own eyes. When you walk the street, you'll have no cares. If you walk the lines and not the squares, as you go through life, make this your goal. Watch the donut, not the hole. Watch the donut, not the hole. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, hello out there in internet land. I know I've got a bunch of friends and family watching from Kansas and Missouri and Florida and Texas. And uh, so just know I love all of you. Places I remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever, not for better, some have gone and some remain. All these places have their moments, 
with lovers and friends I still can recall. Some are dead and some are living in my life. I've loved them all. But of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you. And these memories lose their meaning. When I think of love as something new, oh, I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before. I know I'll often stop and think about them, but in my life, I love you more. affection for people and things that went before though I know I'll often stop and think about them in my life I've loved you more in my life I love you more Thank you, thank you. So, John, I'm gonna put a picture up. I'm ready. All right. If I can get myself plugged in. So, this next song, does that work? Oh, go, oh, good, good, good. This picture is a picture of Mamie May. She was my grandma, my dad's mother, on the klein Sorge side. And do, do any of you know about the orphan trains? Okay, so grandma was three years old when she was riding on the orphan train. Oh, actually, Morgan... Morgan, would you come up here and do something for me? We should have, we should have practiced this. Yay, let's hear it for Morgan. <laughs> She's going to play the orphan train whistle. Now, I want you, you can do, you can either do that with your hand or you can do it with your foot. But you got to push kind of hard. Okay, so how are you going to do it? Okay, let me hear it. Oh, don't trip, sweetie. And do it here. Okay, good. Good, yay, she did it. <laughs> I'm going to move it over so I don't, I don't want to hit you in the head with my guitar. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you a little nod when we get into the song where I want you to, play the train whistle, okay? So in the late 1800s, early 1900s, there were over 200,000 children that were orphaned on the streets of New York City and Boston. And they got this wonderful idea, I feel like it's wonderful since it was my grandma, to fill the seats on the trains that were empty and send them west on a regular basis and people would come at every train station and either take them home or not. Can you imagine that? So grandma was three years old and she got off every train station between New York City 
And near Germantown, Missouri, the train station in Montrose, Missouri, believe it or not, is where grandma ended up being adopted. And my great grandma was Tuzine had three boys. Every time she was pregnant with a girl, she would lose it. So I can imagine, and I really can imagine, because I have two beautiful babies that I adopted from China that are now 20 and 24. <laughs> so I know what great grandma was choosing must have been feeling when she saw this precious little girl, three-year-old girl, across the train station. And so everything I know about grandma's in this song, I didn't get to meet her because she was gone by the time I came along. And even the part about that she liked to talk a lot, which I don't know where that comes from in our family because you can tell we're all kind of quiet, right? <laughs> So this song is called 1894. Germantown, Missouri, they asked them to stay. Mamie, me, little girl with fiery curls. Mamie, me, had so much to say. was lost before its chance to see this world. From the streets of New York City to a farm she called her home. Three brothers and loving parents who considered her their own. She loved and married Vincent and six children did they raise. But she would always wonder about City
much to say. Job. Thanks so much, Morgan. You have really good intuition. I can tell you're going to be a great musician because you knew right when I was going to ask you. Thank you. <laughs> it's the problem with capos, they always mess up your tuning. That'll be ready next time. Well, it's dancing. Of course, when cameras are rolling is always when you get all screwy with these kinds of things, right? What has happened to my strap? I don't know. Hold on. You didn't know this was a comedy routine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Th that pulled the whole thing off of there. Why? Oh, what? Oh, because of the Velcro. That's the problem. All right. Let me, I've had a, at least it wasn't a um, wardrobe malfunction, right? <laughs> That's, that would have been much worse, much worse. So. All right, I believe. Okay, I just had to throw this little quirky song in because, you know, I grew up in the remote Flint Hills of Kansas. The county that I grew up in even now has less than 3,000 population. And kind of to spite my father who wanted me to be a country music star, I studied classical guitar. And so, so every now and then I would learn something just to kind of tick him off. Because he'd go, why do you spend all that time on stuff that nobody wants to hear, you know? And so, anyway, this is a little, a little piece that I'm sure was supposed to be played on the banjo first, but it wasn't. Next time when I do this concert, though, I will have my looper with me, and you'll get to hear the guitar and the banjo at least. But I decided to keep it simple.
totally lost it. <laughs> I can't believe that I did that. But anyway, sometimes that turns out kind of fun. <laughs> now you do have to come for the next concert to hear the entire piece. <laughs> so here's a song that I wrote for my grandpa. Um, and I think we all have somebody in your life that you would like to dedicate this song to, that they just always know what to do. And so, um, sorry, I call it something different than he calls it, so he thought I was doing the wrong song. <laughs> Here we go. I wish you were here, I feel like crying, and I don't know who else to turn to. There are some times I want to quit trying, and crying seems to be the only thing for me to do, so if you could hold me all you gotta do is hold me you always seem to know the thing to do so won't you hold me i just love it when you hold me if i gotta cry wanna do my crying with you when the world up and lets me down, I feel like crying. And I'd like to think you're on my side. What they've got to sell, I ain't buying. And in your arms is where I want to hide. So if you could. Hold me, all you gotta do is hold me. You always seem to know a thing to do. So won't you hold me? I just love it when you hold me. If I gotta cry, wanna do my crying with you. The old lady, Joey, lady, dee, 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 die, dee, die, dee, die, lady, dee, dee, do, dee, 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 die, oh, lady, dee, dee, Joey, lady, dee, 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 lady, dee, 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 Joey, dee, 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 so won't you? Hold me, I just love it when you hold me. You always seem to know the thing to do. Won't you hold me, just hold me. If I gotta cry, wanna do my crying with you. Yes, if I gotta cry, wanna do my crying with you. <laughs> Thank you. Can't do a show with a ukulele without doing this next song, I don't think. Did I play? 
plug it in? No. Hold on. I knew it. <laughs> You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, just remember what your old pal said. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got troubles, well I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. If we stick together, we can see it through. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger too, maybe. But no one else could ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy, and as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. You got a friend in me, yeah. You got a friend in me. <laughs> My fiddle, you know, is talking about Mamie Mae, and her husband was Vincent. And I had Vincent's fiddle for many, 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 many years. Um, I started playing violin when I was 11 and played about three months, and my dog hated it. So I stopped. And so, from 11 for another, like almost 50 years, I kept every place I moved to, I took grandpa's fiddle with me, but I never played it. And then a few years ago, it's been four or so, I realized that it was gonna jump two generations because no one in my dad's generation played it. And I had, kept it, I kept trying to give it away to family members and nobody would take it. And anyway, then I couldn't find it. And I called everybody, did I give it to you? Did I give it to you? And I found out, it, I finally found it in a dried flower arrangement in my house. <laughs> and anyway, that's kind of the story of how I got started playing my fiddle, and this is going to be the only one that I do for you on fiddle today. But I forgot I needed to tell you actually about the song and not so much about the fiddle. <laughs> but I've got another picture for you, John. You've got them in your programs. Can you see it? All right. I mean, look at this woman. Is she somebody that you'd really like to know about? This woman, Maud Wagner, was born in 1877 in a neighboring county to where I grew up, in Lyon County, in the heart of the Flint Hills. And when she was a teenager, she ran off and joined the circus. And she became a trapeze artist, an aerialist, until in 1904, when she met her husband, Angus Wagner, who was at the World's Fair in St. Louis. And he touted to be the most tattooed man in the world. 
They fell in love and got married, and he taught her how to tattoo so he, she could continue his tattoos, and he began tattooing her. They're buried just a few miles from my family's home um, where I grew up near Cottonwood Falls, Kansas, actually four miles west of Bazaar, and they are buried in Clements, Kansas, for those of you that are listening from Kansas and might know. And so they would go to all the circuses and fairs, and they would tattoo, or they would be the tattoo lady and man. They really need to make a movie about this couple because it's just kind of unbelievable. So she became the first documented woman in the United States t that did tattoo artistry. And she taught it to her daughter, who became one of the very last who did by hand tattoo artistry. Otherwise, then everything was taken over by machines and things, which is so just and they never did tattoo the daughter, though. So Maud would not let the daughter get tattoos. So the way this story ends is really amazing. Was it in 1944? You don't remember? I think it was in 1944. Gus was struck by lightning and died. <laughs> I know. Is this like you couldn't make this story up? So anyway, I was doing a virtual online, um, I guess that's what virtual means, um, fiddle camp, a Bob Wills fiddle camp this last summer. And one of the teachers was Katie Shore. She's the fiddler with Asleep at the Wheel. And we were all supposed to prepare something to play you know, for the group. And anyway, she kind of fell in love with my song about the tattoo lady. And we've become wonderful friends over the whole thing. But anyway, this is Tattoo Lady. It was 1877 in a land some still call country heaven a very special baby girl was born on green hills of flint her childhood was spent dreaming of a life no one else would think of she was just a Kansas girl living in the circus world. The very first, nearly the last one of her kind. Maud and Gus traveled round chasing beauty that was found to share with those who dared to pay and peek inside. Haiti little lady, tattoo lady. Haiti little lady, lady tattoo lady. Little lady, tattoo lady. Not your average little Kansas gal.
Lady, little lady, talk to lady. Hey, little lady, lady, talk to lady, little lady, talk to lady. Not your average little candy scab. First she flew through the air, but that all changed at the World's Fair. Way back when tattoos were taboo, though they were feared and they were shunned, their hearts beat as one. And before too long, a baby grew from their love. She was just a Kansas cow living in a circus world. The very first, nearly the last one of her kind. Until lightning struck him down, under big tops they'd be found, creating works of art that walked or showing off their own. Hey, little lady, tattoo lady. Hey, little lady, lady, tattoo lady, little dee. Little lady, tattoo lady. Not your average little Kansas gal. So that was kind of a debut. I have not ever played that song publicly ex outside of that um, little venue on the, at the fiddle camp. And I don't usually play my violin either. <laughs> so, so that was kind of fun. This next song, you know, I'm kind of known for writing songs that um, are kind of heart-wrenching and, and, and uh, make you really feel it. And people usually think of people that they want to dedicate songs to. And this song has probably been dedicated to more people from me than any of my other songs. It's called Do What You Want. So many hours I've spent with you My how time does slip away I search the old books for all the right words To write down on my page that first day I met you, <laughs> you made us all laugh. My friends and me. I opened my heart and then last night, you set me free. So, do what you want, but leave me alone. Go where you please, but please go home. I don't need nobody tearing me down. Do what you want, I don't want you around. 
Everybody needs somebody, but I don't have to settle for you. Everyone needs to give to someone, but you're not the one I'll be giving mine to. I told you before, and I'll tell you again. I don't need to, my heart will surely mend. I'm sick of your jokes and all of your lies. It doesn't bother me a bit to tell you goodbye. Oh, everybody needs somebody, but I don't have to settle for you. Everyone needs to give to someone, but you're not the one I'll be giving mine to. I told you before, and I'll tell you again. I don't need to, I'll find another friend. My aching back is tired of the load. What I need to say to you is hit the road. Oh, everybody needs somebody, but I don't have to settle for you. Everyone needs to give to someone, but you're not the one I'll be giving mine to. So do what you want, but leave me alone. Go where you please, but please go home. I don't need nobody tearing me down. Do what you want, I don't want you around. Yeah, I don't need nobody tearing me down. Do what you want, I don't want you around. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, I'm sure you can think of somebody to dedicate that to along the way, right? <laughs> and so, I probably should have done this next one before that one, because this one is going to make us all cry. But don't worry, I'll bring you out of it. I always do. <laughs> this song, a few years ago, my mom was living with us and she had a stroke. And we took care of her for the last five years of her life. And the last bit of it, I couldn't have her stay at home the whole time. And so she actually was here at Heidi's um, assisted living for part of the time. But I would take her home, sometimes for the weekend and sometimes just for the day. And, you know, Mom never lost her worry about me in all of it you know she didn't want me to worry too much about her but she really didn't ever want to say goodbye and uh, I wrote this one after a very a, a specially difficult visit because right after it I, I have a home in Mexico and I had to go down there for a couple of weeks and then come back and so this is called I don't want to say goodbye Hand in hand we spent the day Watching birds and singing songs Laughed and cried about old times Then when the sun had gone In the car we headed south We arrived, my heart sank low Her eyes looked up and seemed to ask Do I really have to go? I don't want to say goodbye I don't want to say so long All I want to do is cry Can't you just take me along You've done the best that you could do Don't worry too much 
about me. Remember how much I love you when God finally sets me free. I laid a flower on the place. I knew she'd lay her head if she was frightened in the dark. She could think of me instead. I helped her to the chair, but first I held her in my arms. Her kiss was soft and sweet. God keep her from harm. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to say farewell. Do your best not to cry. And I'll wish you well. We've done the best that we could do. Don't worry too much about me. Remember how much I love you when God finally sets me free. She was my first love, a so complete love. And now I can barely stand to say goodbye of love she showed me all that I can be and now I hope she sees it in my eyes I don't want to say goodbye I don't want to say so long all I want to do is cry. Can't you take me along? You've done the best that you could do. Don't worry too much about me. Remember how much I love you when God finally sets you free. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have to thank my wonderful bass player. Thank you so much, Craig. He had an appointment tonight that we just found out yesterday got canceled. And so he has only been preparing for this since yesterday afternoon. <laughs> so I had a whole week <laughs> to get ready for it. But it's my stuff. So, so thank you so much. Oh, okay. So Ruby Blevins, anybody know who that is? Nope. Patsy Montana? Anybody know Patsy Montana? Maybe a couple of people. So Patsy Montana was the very first country female artist to sell over a million copies of something. And she did it with this song in what year? 1935. See if you can yodel along with me. I want to be a cowboy sweetheart. I want to learn to rope a to ride. I want to ride over the plains and the desert out west of the great divide. I want to hear the coyotes howling as the sun sets in the west. I want to be a cowboy sweetheart 
the life I love the best. I go to Lady O, your Lady O, your Lady O, Lady O, Lady. I go to Lady O, your Lady, a Lady O. I want to ride old paint, get him on the run. I want to feel the wind on my face. A thousand miles from the city lights, going at a cow hand's pace. I want to pillow my head near the sleeping herd as the moon shines from above. I want to strum my guitar and yodel. The life I love. I owe little lady, oh, little lady, oh, your lady, oh, lady, oh, little lady, oh, little lady, oh, your 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 lady, oh, lady, oh, your lady, oh, your lady, oh, your lady, you little lady, you lady, you do be little. You lady, you do be little. You lady. I was not foibled by the Velcro <laughs> this time. So this song, you have to imagine that I'm green. You'll know what I mean. <laughs> Why are there so many? songs about rainbows and what's on the other side rainbows are visions but only illusions and rainbows have nothing to hide so we've been told and some choose to believe it well, I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished on a morning star. Somebody thought of it and someone believed him and look what it's done so far. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me.
Heard them calling my name. Are these the same sweet sounds that call the young sailors? I think they're one and the same. I've heard them too many times to refuse it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you can tell the banjo is my problem child. <laughs> so again, I want to thank Craig and and he's my husband. I don't think I mentioned that. A lot of people from Kansas haven't met him, even though it's been 20 years. <laughs> yeah, so. so we're going to do one last song, and he's actually going to sing along, but he's back there where, he, where I, I, you guys will hear him because he's got a nice voice that rings out, but probably on the Internet you're not going to hear him, but. May the good Lord bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long-awaited golden day today. May your troubles all be small ones and your fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May you walk with sunlight shining and a bluebird in every tree. May there be a silver lining back of every cloud you see. Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows. Never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching out there too. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> did a pretty good job of filling the room.
You you did a really good job of it. I was I don't know though. They really I don't think they 